Howdy y'all, this is Mark from Camping Forge. A couple of weeks ago, I got to go on a 26 mile, six day, five night backpacking trip through Big Bend National Park. This is one of my bucket list items and I was thrilled to be able to complete it. One of the unique things about this backpacking trip for me was that uh, I camped without a tent. I did what we call cowboy camping. And uh, now I did this for a couple of reasons. One is it saved weight. I could leave my tent. I didn't have to carry that extra weight with me uh, in my pack. And the second thing is I always, when I cowboy camp, I always like to think of myself about being like a cowboy in the old West or, but uh, uh, more importantly, uh, get to mimic uh, being some of my Western heroes like Cheyenne from the television show Cheyenne or the Lone Ranger. The also one of the other benefits of cowboy camping, particularly in Big Bend, is you can see the stars all night long. You, you can stargaze as you're trying to go to sleep. And Big Bend, uh, according to the National Park Service, has our darkest skies of any national park in the continental United States. So if you are wanting to see uh, some stars and or do some astronomy, I encourage you to get out to West Texas and visit Big Bend National Park. That being said, when people learn or heard that I wasn't going to use a tent, uh, they were concerned for my safety. And so I want to take a moment and talk about like why, how it easy, you know, how safe or, you know, danger, what are the dangers of cowboy camping and how we can mitigate this. So the first thing we have to worry about when we're cowboy camping is the weather. And so for that trip, we're going in the desert. Uh, it doesn't rain very much anyway, and that week we had zero chance of, of rain. But I was still prepared if a, a sudden, you know, the weather changed and, and or the weather forecast was wrong and we got a rainstorm. I had a tarp with me, actually a tarp poncho uh, with me, so I could assemble a shelter very quickly. Uh, I still own the record at the Texas Survival School for assembling a shelter out of a tarp. Uh, so uh, now... If I have a tree, I know I can get it up and going in about 90 seconds. Uh, back then, there wasn't any trees, so it would take me a couple minutes, but still, uh, less than 10 minutes, I would have had a shelter established and being able to keep myself dry uh, in, in the event of, a, of an unexpected rainstorm. The second thing people would be concerned with is bugs. Uh, again, in Big Bend, in November, there just aren't any insects. Now, when we say we're worried about bugs and sleeping, what that really means is we're worried about mosquitoes and mosquitoes just definitely are really a problem in, in Big Bend anyway, because uh, we're up in the mountains and there just isn't a lot of mosquitoes there. But if you're camping along a water source and warm weather, you can, you know, mosquitoes are something we have to pay attention to. That being said, you could always bring a, like a bug suit with you or a bivac uh, or bivy sack, sorry. And uh, that could uh, keep you, uh, uh, basically keep the mosquitoes away from you from, from bothering or, or gnats and whatever other flying critters around you, flying insects around you from bothering you all night. Uh, but again, Big Ben didn't have to worry about that. If you have a friend, I met a, another uh, coworker recently who also backpacks, but he lives like in Nevada and goes into uh, Eastern California. And he talks about the fact is weather is always nice. There's no insects. He gets to cowboy camp all the time. Uh, so the Third thing uh, is that I would say you have to concern yourself with is, uh, and this is just personal preference, and that is privacy. If you're with a group, and particularly if you're a female, I, you know, if the thing is with cowboy camping is you're out in the open and it can be uncomfortable if you want to change uh, or just as you're going to sleep, you just don't want to have that feeling of like somebody be able to just stare at you while you're sleeping. I understand that. Uh, and so that's another, that is a benefit uh, of a tent versus cowboy camping. But I'll tell you by day three of backpacking, I just didn't care anymore. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, you're, we're pretty intimate by then. We're all, all uh, uh, it's just the nature of, of being in a backpacking trip. But if you're, Hey, if you're in a camp, front country campsite, uh, surrounded by strangers, uh, I, you know, that's a reason to have a tent, tent is because it does provide that degree of uh, privacy. Final thing is people, uh, but there's one myth I want to destroy about a tent versus cowboy camping. 
and that is protection from critters. So one thing, the number one question I got was from the people on my trip was, Mark, aren't you afraid of like animals getting to you, uh, sleeping outside without a tent? And the short answer to that was no, because um, I wasn't going to have any food on me. And, uh, and same thing, you don't want to have food in a tent and you shouldn't have food with you when you're cowboy camping. That is just common sense. Or, or say it's, <laughs> it's basic, uh, it's, it's, it's basic uh, steps for keeping yourself safe from animal, unexpected animal encounters while you're sleeping is don't put food or even anything that smells in your tent or on your body near your sleeping area when you're cowboy camping. Um, and so, for example, people say, well, a tent, that some people I think believe a tent with a two inches of nylon is going to protect you from critters if you forget and you accidentally leave food in your tent. But I know somebody who uh, forgot to take uh, food out of their tent on a camping trip and woke up one night and had a raccoon who chewed through their tent to get to the Snickers bar that was in their backpack. So, uh, so again, a tent itself is not going to keep you safe from critters if you don't practice uh, just basic camp hygiene, uh, meaning don't keep, don't put food in your tent, get it out of your tent, and follow whatever the procedures are for the area. Uh, if you're at a campsite, they might have bear lockers. Uh, you can keep it in your car, uh, or if you're just out backpacking, uh, either a bear canister or a bear sack. All right. Uh, in the comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about cowboy camping? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.